So let's go to the tail of the tape for tonight's main event. When we look at the numbers here, I think the salient ones are the age. You obey my commands, protect yourself at all times. Your trunks are, okay, you're good here, that's what I'm gonna call it, all right? Good here, all right? Touch them up, good luck. Play Olympia, well it's worth it. The bell and round one. Broder has established a pattern in his career. Maidana continues to walk Broder down. Broder catching a lot of those punches up. There's good a lead left hook. Go defense to offense. You rarely see for a need to counter punch Maidana's brutal offense here. He can't just have it missing. You need to take he needs to be active. He has the speed to be active if he chooses to use it. And if he stays confident in doing that, he's gonna have to get active. Oh wow. 11 of his 22 KOs in the first of two rounds. And there's the right hand lead by Maidana that sticks. Another right hand! Broder goes down for the first time in his career! He's hurt back. And he's hurt! But it has a long count, that's for sure. He's hurt bad. He's they gotta stay, they might have to look at stopping this. Broder has never been down in his career. A couple of left hooks to the body by Maidana, a couple of right uppercuts, the last one just grazing the chin. And it's all Marco foot. Measuring up, good defense, and there's some of the speed displayed by Adrian Broder. Maidana may have been stunned with that punch. Right hand to the body by Broder. Well, he's setting up all the power. Yeah, he's the old Maidana, but he's still landing power punches. Misses the couple of right uppercuts as Broder content to stay on the ropes. And, and now good, Broder good comes back with a one-two. Right uppercut by Maidana, the right foot. Maidana digs away to the body with the left hand. Broder content to stay on the ropes. Again, Maidana's gonna cut the ring off here. So used to seeing all those wide shots that the straight one's yes. surprising. Yep. Again, defense is partially anticipation. It's hard to anticipate straight shots coming from Maidana. Left hook upstairs by Maidana. Left hook by Broder. Straight right hand by Broder. Single Maidana. shoot. Punch shot, Maidana. There's a lead left hook that connects by Broder. Broder in close. Working away on the body. Oh. Broder tagging the left upstairs. The, the, no, the knockdown early in the, the fight helped him. There's Broder a straight right hand. Another one that seemed to back up Maidana. Oh. And a left hand by Maidana. Will he come out throwing it with conviction? <laughs> and he swarms Broder along the ropes. Keep focus here. Left hook by Maidana. Pick up it up, pick it up just a little bit if he's gonna be effective here. There's a slow pace, favors Broner. Here he is picking it up now. Here's where Broner has a problem though. He throws so few punches. Because they're coming from awkward ways, in awkward ways and from awkward angles. Yeah, that's really true. And the right hands are so wise. He's just land by Broner. Four more punches, uh, 47 to 36, but Broner's been fairly accurate with his. Good counter right hand by Maidana. And again, you're putting Maidana in a position he's not used to being in. Now Broner beginning to find a rhythm with his combination. Maidana, though, continues to come forward. Trying to walk Maidana down. You can put him on the back foot. You get clipped. I don't think my, I don't, maybe Broner's not so apt to. Working the body again is Mike Donna going over top of the right hand, followed by the left yeah, hand. Once again. But at least it's showing he's, he's got his man's back. And they are exchanging leather in the center of the ring. I'll tell you, Broner's knees buckled, but he still came forward. And the body shots by Mike. Forty-five seconds left in the fourth, and there's a chopping right cross by Maidana. Maidana continues to invest into the body shots, putting the work in as he gets... Oh, oh, good hook. So here at the Alamo Dome in San Antonio, Texas... The hey, hey, relax, man. Where you uh, We okay. This is it. You got to be a little more uh, busy in this round. 
Dr. Marcos Maidana. They renew acquaintances here immediately. Right uppercut snuck in by Broner. Oh, and now some panic in the corner, and it was Broner who told everyone, hey, chill out. <laughs> Hitting Broder on the shoulders and the arms and sneaks in a body shot. There's a left hook by Maidana. Oh, another four punch combination. And I'm not saying that they're all landing, but he's much busier. Well, he just landed three punches there. The double left hook followed by the right cross by Broder. And Maidana getting up here in this round. Left hook and left uppercut just grazes, but he connects with the right hand. And Broder now beginning to tee off a little bit of Maidana, but Maidana here in the final second. Take point away soon for that. Oh, left hook behind him. Maidana staggers Broder again. Final minute of the fifth round. Broder catches Maidana with a right, and there's another quick combination. Which you know, one? You're gonna, you're gonna deduct points, he's gotta go both ways. Nice combination by Maidana. Lead left hook, then going downstairs. Broder dropping low, pushing Maidana away. And he seems to need on the scorecards to go get it. And he Big just right did hand. a right cross. It shows character in a fighter. It shows character in a man. A minute and a half, gone in the sixth. Left hook to the body by Broder. Maidana coming forward low. So, Forget about surviving. If Broder gets by this, we're going to see what kind of character he oh, has. Oh, and the Let's left see. and right by Maidana. The power already taking its goal. Maidana throwing all kinds of punches at Broder's body in the crowd here in Fuego in San Antonio. We have seen it. Adrian Broder get hit with overhand rights repeatedly in his career. And we thought that would be the big weapon for Maidana, and it has been so far. And it's been exciting as Maidana again works the body. And a left hook upstairs by Maidana. Left hook by Broder, left hook to the body by Maidana. Good hook by Broner, right in between. This is a very entertaining fight. And Broner holding his breath. Fight. One of the central questions in this fight is does Broner have, there's a great jab by Maidana, does he have welterweight power? Broder trained by Mike Stafford, who's been his trainer since he was five years old. A stellar amateur career with over 300 fights. And there he eats a right cross from Minute 45 left in the seventh. Another right hand by Maidana. But it has been a rough and tumble affair at times. And yes. You know, this, you know guys, uh, this fight reminds me of a lot. There's a lot of comparisons with Broner with, uh, with Floyd Mayweather here. As, uh, as Broner showing some flangy combinations. going to really have a problem because he may very well be behind in this fight. We would anticipate. Of course, that's just not an official oh. view. Oh. Oh, oh the hook got him. The hook got him. Broder for the second time the in the fight. Got him. He was down in round two. He's down. Smoking it, guys. All right, come on. I love Broder. No, 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 no. Come on. Come on. Moments after getting the knockdown, Adrian Broder. scoring after nine rounds. It's good combination by Maidana. Of course, we're very, pretty much in agreement here with Maidana winning by several points. To do battle. Battle of attrition. It may be him surviving this round. Lead left hook by Maidana. Left hook by Broner. Going upstairs again with the left hook. Broner doesn't move his hands very often.
Left hook lands by Broder. 30 seconds left to 30 seconds left in the ninth. Maidana again beginning to pick up the pace. Lands a left hand. Does Marcos Maidana going to the body, ripping the left hook. Broder coming forward. He's got to get his hands off. Left though. hook upstairs by Broder. Good action here between the champion Adrian Broder. He's giving the round back. He's got to get his hands off. Because not only is he not throwing, he's getting hit. The crowd is going crazy in San Antonio. They're trading hooks. And right now, Broners is getting there a little quick. Neither guy wants to back off. Madonna tired. He's still trying to throw punches. Broner, very impressive in the fact that he's been knocked down twice, yes. felt a lot of power, yet he still tries to come forward. By Martinez from New Mexico and Nelson Vasquez from Puerto Rico. Broner getting busy here now in round 11 with some of his best work of the fight. Couple of right hands. Keeping Maidana under control. Right hand to the body by Maidana. There was a right hand to the body by Broner. Maidana working the body with another chopping right hand. And there's a left hand that catches Broner on the face. Broner lands a left hook to the body. Or head, I should say. Hey, you need a knockout, man. Nah, I need a knockout, dog. You got a dog, but you got, you got, you got. You Stafford. Look at me, Chino. Look at me, Chino. Look at me, Chino. This is your round. Okay. You can knock him down in this round. Three punch combination. The hand speed of Broner, of course, is a big edge for him when he uses it. Maidana going over the top with a right hand, working the body in the 60 seconds of the 11th round. Broner with the right uppercut, left hook. Maidana continues to work the body, lands another combination upstairs. Triple left hand, culminating with that left uppercut by Broner. And oh, a nice good move. combination there by Maidana. Comes back with a left of his own. Has Maidana along the ropes, but it's Maidana's jab that keeps Broner at bay. Every time Maidana throws the double jab, something good happens for him. An unbelievable atmosphere to cap off one of the greatest years in recent memory in the sport of boxing. Maidana and Broner. Broner hits him through the ropes. A couple of stiff jabs by Broner. We are headed to the judges' scorecard. down 20 seconds into round two then again a minute and a half into round eight but then shortly thereafter Maidana deducted a point for a headbutt and we're off to the judges scorecards following a tremendous welterweight championship fight ladies and gentlemen after 12 rounds of action we have a unanimous decision here the score totals 115 to 110 116 to 109 117 to 109 all three in favor of